everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all in today's video i have i think three trips from bath and body works for this haul and there's going to be a rant and i tell you what i chose the right day to film a video where i have something to say because i am moo to the d okay <laughs> but i am y'all i am so before we get started, this is going to be spring round three, the $4.95 sale. If you hear the garage, I'm sorry. Bridgerton, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to uh, smell it with you all um, and do a review this way. And I'll tell you why I decided to uh, in my rant. So before I get started on my video, let's let me tell you what i have on my lips this is summer fridays um lip oil in pink cloud no lip liner or anything this is just this lip oil on my lips okay so i'm going to start off with the 495 sale what i was able to get um because i'm going in order okay so at the 495 sale we're going to talk about, well, let me show you, since this is a haul slash review. My brother picked up Gingham Hero for men. He really liked it. And when I took uh, these items to work for my friends to smell them because they requested to see what they wanted to purchase, they even like this too. So Gingham Hero is a good one. So that's his. Now, I'm going to smell bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. This has notes of bourbon, vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, pink jasmine, and white oak. Now, I remember this scent being out a few years ago, and I did not like it. So, I just decided to get it now. Why does it look like so much of this is gone? Hmm. Um, I decided to go ahead and get it now because I wanted to review it and talk about it with you all and see if maybe my preference has changed. And see, it has because I like this now. And it's not, I heard some people say, that is just bothering me. Why is that so low? Is that the way they're doing them? Maybe that's the way they're doing them now. But this one, girl, I don't know. So, I heard some people saying that they thought this would be a more boozy type of strawberry scent because it says bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. To me, it smells like a soft, somewhat perfumey, sweet, strawberry, fruity scent. It, it smells very pretty and pink. And, and I do. I remember when this came out and I did not like it at all, you all. But I am thinking this smells rather nice. And one of my friends liked it at work and one of them didn't. And I can pick up the vanilla in here. And maybe that white oak. Because what I'm picking up, like I said, sweet, fruity, perfumey, girly scent. But there's also like a smoothness in there and a woodiness. Maybe that, that's what I'm picking up, that white oak. It's like smooth, wood, um, very smooth. Like this is very well blended. Yeah, I do like this. What, do I need a, a backup of it? I don't feel like I do right now. I mean, it would have to be semi annual sale because this is what, $18.95? Yeah, $18.95. So I got this at the $4.95 sale. So I think the packaging is pretty. I do like the scent. And I would say get it on a sale, honey, on a sale. The next one I'm going to uh, talk about is Gingham Unstoppable. This says this is limited edition. It's a cologne mist, and this is uh, unisex. And Gingham Unstoppable has notes of fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean musk. I'm going to use a tester strip to spray this one. Now, I have smelled all of these because like I said, I don't know why I spray two of them because I took it to work. Okay, this to me, this was one that my friends didn't particularly like. 
Like one of them didn't like it at all. One of them was like, yeah. But for me, I think it's a nice unisex. It's a citrus aquatic scent with a hint of like a cologne vibe. But I do think it's, it's something that's kind of sweet a little bit in here. Not sweet as in, ooh, you're so sweet, but sweet in a clean type of way. That, again, I don't think I need a backup of this, even though it's limited edition. Um, but I feel like it does smell really nice. For those, like, I can see me wearing this during the summer. Very clean. It's, uh, like I said, it's a clean, citrus, somewhat sweet, aquatic, musky fragrance. With a hint of like a cologne vibe, but not too much to where I feel like I would smell like a man. So yeah, I do like this. Again, I'm not in love with it, but I do like it. And that is Gingham Unstoppable. All right. So the next three fragrances I was able to um, get during the $4.95 sale. And this is Lavender Number no. 3 Mist. And this collection right here, I believe that this, I was watching someone's video and they said, you know, they have to read what to say, tell people about the different collections in their team meetings. And they mentioned TikTok. And it's supposed to be like the clean aesthetic, um, simplified to, to uh, meet that clientele shall we say so and i i mean okay to me they've done this before maybe not this these notes in particular but uh have we heard of blueberry that was like a simple one note that strawberry they did simple one note so to me this these have multiple notes but i think it's the aesthetic i think that's what they're going for because remember victoria's secret pink did the same thing they redid their core line and made it very uh like modern clean spa type look very uh like clean girls that's what they're going for so lavender has notes of lavender jasmine and vanilla this again got mixed reviews some people well, one of my friends really liked it she says she thinks she may get it one of them was like uh no now me i am very 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 picky with lavender so let's see this is a lavender I can do. I can wear. I can enjoy. I can find. I mean, I do like it. Yeah, I like it. But is it back up? Like, ooh, let me go get this. I love this. I love it. No. It's still very lavender heavy. But you know that aromatherapy, like, um, like that lavender smell is supposed to, it's just very, I can't think of the word. It is aromatic, and I don't like just straight lavender. It's it's too much for me. But this lavender jasmine vanilla combo, it softens that lavender up. It makes it a little bit sweeter. To me, more feminine. Because to me, lavender, it, it, it's not, I know it's, you know, it, unisex, feminine, masculine, whatever. But for me, just straight lavender. I find it very earthy, more masculine smelling to me and my nose and my preference. So this lavender, I actually like. To me, it's like a pretty lavender. So I do like it. Do I need anything else in the line? No, I do not. I'm content with just the mist. Now this is apple. This has notes of apple, strawberry, and rain. This is pink tie-dye. Go ahead, have it back here. It's back here somewhere. Right when I smell this, because I love me some pink tie-dye from about two years ago, two semi-annual sales ago, or maybe even three semi-annual sales ago, they had it during the summer. And that's exactly what this smells like. So apple smells like, to me, herbal essence. Because when I told my friends, they're like, yes, that's it, that's it. If you like those herbal essence, apple, sweet, uh, it smells like the girl, it smells like the girl next door who just showered and she used good smelling like herbal essence, fruity, juicy shampoo, conditioner. She put on, you know, she's just clean, 
fresh out of the shower. You know when you've done that head to toe, you just smell like a good smelling clean girl. And then that fruitiness comes in there with your shampoo or whatever you're using. That's what this smells like. But if you have pink tie dye, you don't need apple because it smells exactly like pink tie dye. I mean, to the T to my nose. Now I have watched other people's videos and some people are picking up other fragrances. Like some people are picking up sweet tea. I can't, not sweet tea, sweet pea. And I can't remember the other one I've heard someone say it smell like, but for me and my nose, the way I interpret fragrance, this is a repackage of pink tie dye all day, every day. So yeah, I like apple. Did I need apple? No, because I have two pink tie dyes, two or three, but am I gonna return it? I'm not gonna return it because I love the scent. So, you know, what's one more to the batch? Okay, this last one in the collection is one I was excited to smell. This is musk. This has notes of musk, mimosa flower, and rice milk. This again, I feel, I feel like this collection is going to be very hit or miss based off of the reactions I'm getting. One of my friends absolutely loved this scent. And she is not into fragrance mist at all, okay? The, let me just put that out there. Now, my other friend who is into fragrance mist and is like, should I say, keep me up to date with the sales and everything and let me know what's new. And she's the one who wants to smell everything. She's like, I know you're going to get it. Let me smell it. I can make my list for when there's a sale. She doesn't, she didn't like any of these really to wear. Now, this to me, I've heard people say it smells like, I think this is the one. Some people say it smells like, um... Glossier, I've heard some people say it smells kind of like Glossier U, uh, Kaleidoscope. My friend, one friend, the one that didn't like it at all, she said it smelled like a hospital. She said, I don't like it at all. Now, for me, what I get, I do get musky, milky. Like a milky, musky scent. And if you know the Baccarat Rouge that what some people can pick up that Band-Aid note, you know, that hot, that medicinal note, I can get that a little bit in this in the beginning of musk. But this to me, this scent is one, it needs your skin, okay? Because my friend, she sprayed it on her skin. We smelled it. It was like, oh my goodness, girl, it smells so good. So I believe this, which musk fragrances, in my opinion, like I've ever since I heard someone say this or read it where they say your skin is the last ingredient in any fragrance, that is so true. So with this one, this one in particular, I would say try it on your skin because it smelled totally different on her skin than just smelling it from the top. And from the top, it is reminding me of a fragrance in my collection but I can't put my finger on it because it's not exact. It's just like notes and some un it's an undertone in here that reminds me, and it's, it's a Bath and Body Works fragrance mist, but I just can't think of it. But it to me, this one is more unisex. Like Apple, I mean, my brother had pink tie-dye and he made it work. He didn't smell feminine. So, you know, it's ways to layer and use these to make them work for you if you love it. And like I said, your body chemistry changes everything. But this is the one I would say is more masculine to me, just smelling it from the top. But when I smell it, I also think of Kaoli Musk a little bit. Not exact, because this is not, it's, it's not pretty like that, that fragrance. This is more heavy milky musky and it's something almost like leathery in here a little bit but i do like this and i plan to keep it also but again unless something changes probably by it by semi-annual sale i feel like i'm only gonna have one of musk also okay so those were all the fragrances i that was at the well, no it's not Okay, these were all the fragrances I bought for $4.95 because this one, when I went to the store, guys, you know, I don't be going to the store. I've been to Bath & Body Works three times in a row, and I am not liking that, honey, at all. So, <laughs> this one was there for $4.95 because I went in hoping to see 
some other fragrances, but we'll get there. So I didn't get it because number one, I have two ice lemon pound cakes in my collection. Number two, I don't like this packaging. I'm not in love with it. Like so many people are in love with this packaging. I prefer the original packaging of ice lemon pound cake, but I had a reward. It was going to expire. So I used it on this because I decided to use it on this when somebody said, oh, this one is sweeter and better than the original. So I said, well, let me get it and try it. Oh, well, let me tell y'all the notes. So Ice Lemon Pound Cake has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. Well, that looks pretty good. Cool. So this is one my friend, <laughs> my friend sprayed this on her. And I said, don't spray this one on you because you don't like gourmand. You don't like smelling like food. I said, you're going to smell straight like food. And she's like, well, my skin might change. I said, your skin not going to change this one. You still going to smell like food. And she smelled it. She's like, oh my goodness, I smell just like a cake. I said, I told you that's what you're going to smell like. And she was like, oh, it's getting on my nerves. Because she does not like gourmand scents at all. And then my other friend was like, oh, this smells exactly like a lemon pound cake. Oh my God. She was, it just blew her away. And then she, she was like, this is so good. She said, it smells really good, but I wouldn't want it because it makes me want to eat cake. And every time I think of, oh my goodness. Her name left me, y'all, but that was the funniest review I'd seen of this video of this uh, fragrance mess where she talked about how she had to stop at Walmart, get her some lemon pound cake, because, and then she was eating it in the video while she was <laughs> reviewing it. That's still the best review of this scent ever, ever. So this, to me, and my nose, this version does smell like it's a little bit heavier on the cake. I feel like it's a little bit heavier, a little bit more dense, a little bit richer than the original Iceland and Pound Cake because that one was very fluffy, airy. You know, it, it wasn't heavy at all. This one is just a tad bit like, the, okay, so the original Iceland and Pound Cake that came out last year, it it's your box cake. You know, your Duncan Hines box cake, add butter, add water, add, add egg mix it up good this is your i'm making it from scratch cake honey that's the difference they smell the same it's just this one is a little richer and it i mean is it enough of a difference to where you know i would say you must get this one no i would not say that because you know, well, this is still $16.95, but if I would still say get it on a sale, especially if you have it. But it, I'm glad I have one that's this rich and thick and um, in my collection. Will I get another one during semi-annual sale or for use a reward or something? Possibly, because it does smell really good, you all. I mean, it does smell really, really, really good. And uh, it smelled good last year, smells good this year. Ice lemon pound cake. Okay, so now we're getting to Monday Bridgerton release, honey. Bridgerton release. Did you hear me? So I have watched quite a few videos, okay? And people, what's funny to me is so many people say they haven't watched the show. They're, they, you know, they don't know anything about the show, but they're still loving the collection. And that, that surprises me that so many people that videos that I've seen, they don't watch the show. But I am one, I'm a Bridgerton girl. I mean, I was telling my friends at work because we plan to watch it and uh, we plan to meet up and discuss it because we usually watch it and then discuss it at work together. But, you know, it's coming out where we're not going to be able to do that. So we plan to meet up for brunch and have our Bridgerton talk. And so I was the one who saw the little snippets that they released. And I was like, have y'all seen that? And they're like, no. So we were, I showed it to them. We were watching it at work on my phone. And we were just, oh my God, swooning. I mean, so I'm a Bridgerton girl. Okay. So I am one that's talking about these items who watch the show. Okay, so I'm going to show you this first. I had to get this. This is not anything new. They had this crown out before, but it was just for single wig. And so they brought it out for the three wig and I had to get it because I like this set in my bedroom. This matches. And also the crown plug-in that came. I already have that one, but I'm thinking I might get a backup with a reward uh, later on down the line before it's gone. 
So that's the first Bridgerton item I got. And of course, I got the pocket back holder. I've been wanting a gold one of these forever and I love it. I love it. But I had the silver one and this whole thing came off. So these to me aren't the best quality. So we're going to see. I got it because it was gold and yeah. And when I show my friends, they're like, yeah, that's you, girl. That's you. Now, this is one I don't know if I'm going to keep you all. This is the tea kettle, teapot. And it's cute, but I just don't know about this hanging on my purse. So I'm going to, this one, if I take this one back, I'm going to exchange it to get another one of these as a backup. Because I just don't know about this, okay? It's cute. But let me tell you something. This, the tea, uh, tea, tea cup that they have, the carriage they have of the pocket bags and the plug-ins. I was like, this is giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes. It's so, uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it on my purse before I decide to take it back. I'm going to try and see if I like how it looks on my purse. Because they were saying, some of my friends were saying, well, it's childish, but... You know, I have the little s'mores one. I love. It's cute. It's adorbs. I love it. I have the the polar bear with the crown. I love it. So I have some that aren't, you know, glam and so, you know, woo-woo for all of my little pocket back holders. But this is one I just don't know. So I'm going to try it on, on one of my bags, a pink bag, and see if I like the way it looks. And that'll be that'll help me make my final decision. I also got all the pocket bags, but y'all, okay, I thought I got all of them on the first order, then they, and then I was like, Where, what am I missing? And I was missing Danbury's uh, shortbread, so I have that one for my other order, but it's in my bag, because I took it to work, because, so I'm not going to get it. So I said all that to say I'm not going to go get it, but it's very sweet. If you if you have cookie fragrances from Bath and Body Works, the candle, the sugar cookies, you know those the Snickerdoodle cookie, it's kind of along that. I don't know yet because I bought all of the pocket bags to help me see if I wanted to invest in a candle, but I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to smell the candle because I didn't fall in love with it. Now this is Bridgerton Study. This smells really good, but this smells straight up like a man, honey. A good smelling fine man. Antony or the Duke, maybe? <laughs> I don't know about Colin. I got to see the season, okay? Oh, how could I forget King George? You know? Though, so, yeah, it smelled really good. But I don't, this is, this is to me and my nose straight up manly. So I'm going to give this one to my brother if he wants it. If he doesn't want it. He'll want it because it's a pocket bag. And then I got Diamond of the Season. And since I have the mist, we're not going to talk about that one. And I picked up Queen Charlotte's Tea. This one is very pretty color. This one is very like clean, soapy, mixed with tea. So this is what I'm going to have to smell the candle and, and to help me make my decision. Because I'm feeling like I don't really need any of the Bridgerton candles. <gasps> That's how I'm feeling right now. But this is good. It's nice. But I just, you know, the candles, some of them are, <laughs> you know, they pricey. And the last one I have here is Wisteria Garden. Because, you know, the estates back then, the, their land, the grounds looked very good. This one's just very floral. So, I mean, I don't know if I would need a candle in this either. But I have all of them. And as of right now, I'm not really leaning towards getting any of the candles from the Bridgerton collection. So, now we're going to talk about the Mist Diamond of the Season. So, before I get into the notes, I was late on this, you all. I got the early release notice. It's, you know, beautiful, wonderful. I have one coupon. So, and people did not know for sure what, if we were getting more body care. I never could get, find a definitive answer. So I said, you know, I'm going to pass on the early release and I'm just going to wait until, you know, I can get all the things I really want 
from the Bridgerton collection with my coupon. So that's how I you didn't see me talking about it when it was first released because I'm trying to you know I'm trying to save some money, okay? So the notes for Diamond of the Season are Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. Before I spray this, I've heard mixed reviews on the packaging. Okay, if you don't watch the show, Diamond of the Season, this is who the queen picks, because I've read the books too. This is who the queen picks, and well, she chooses as you are the most um, desirable woman to marry. You are, you know... I just watched the Mean Girls musical. You're Regina. You run this ballroom, okay? You are the it girl of the season. So to me, does it fit that? I mean, it's gold. I, I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. To me, it's not as eye-catching as you would think the diamond of the season should be. I was thinking of uh, this one, Dream Bright like this type of packaging, but make it, you know, be in that time, that era, you know, something like that. But this is very, this does fit the era. I mean, when you look at, cause I like period shows, books. So it does fit the timeline. So let's spray this you all. I don't hate it, but you know, I was going to get it regardless. Cause I want to smell it. Okay, so when I, my friend at work, she was like, this smells good, but it makes me think, these are her words, it makes me think of a granny. And I was like, well, you have to remember, they're trying to make it smell like something that you don't smell today. It's going to have a vintage vibe. To me, this does have a vintage vibe. It's, to me, a perfumey, bright, peachy floral scent it's very you know what it kind of reminds me of think of parfums de marley castle that peach that that i call uh lush bath bombs smell think of house of siage the whispers of enlightenment it's that type of peach it's very rich it's perfumey it's got you know, floor, it doesn't smell like your run-of-the-mill Bath & Body Works fragrance mist at all. It doesn't. Now, in my opinion, does it fit that era? I would say no. I mean, I was thinking something more floral, more soft, something extremely feminine. This is very peach heavy. And... Like I said, I love period books and shows and I it when you when you hear when you when you hear how they describe how they smell or something, it's usually floral. Like Antony, one of the favorite scenes from season two. Lilies. You know, it is floral. So this does smell unique to Bath and Body Works. Is it unique to me as someone or you know who smelled a lot of fragrances? It smells like perfumes, but does it smell like any fragrance mist I've smelled? Not to, not to my recollection. So they hit it out of the park with that. But I just it I was thinking it was going to be something floral, something soft because remember, they had the dabbers back then. And, you know, so they weren't engulfed in fragrance like we can be in. Like, they didn't have it where you could spray it down all over, usually. You know, that's not how they wore fragrance back then. So, I was just, I was thinking it was going to be different. It's not a love for me, but I am, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. But I don't feel like I need a backup of this either. Um, I feel like I'm good with Diamond of the Season. Okay, so... Now let's move on to my last order. Well, no, no, no. This was, oops. This was in, yeah, this miss was in this order too. And this is dressed in white. This is the wedding collection. And this has fragrance notes of pear blossoms, ivory gardenia, and satin woods. So y'all, this was an absolute hit. Do you hear me? 
everyone who smelled this at my job loved this. And I've heard mixed reviews about this because, you know, so many people have gotten it earlier. <laughs> Rant coming. Um, that I, I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, I don't love gardenia at all. This is beautiful to me. When I smell it, I was telling my friends, I said, I feel like I'm seeing the color white and like a satin white. And not just because it's the wedding fragrance, it's fresh, it's a little juicy, it's, 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 it's clean smelling in the, in a bougie way. Cause I feel like, I feel like I'm smelling like a soap. Okay, May, you, and I feel like I'm smelling like a white bar of very fragrant, you know, the, the type of soaps that you, your grandmother or your auntie, you went, they had it out, but you don't, you don't use that soap. That's also decoration, but it was very fragrant. That, oh, I'm smelling that, and that pear gives it a juicy, juiciness. It's very pretty. And it smells perfumey. It smells feminine. Now, I did ask my friends, I said, would you wear this on your wedding day? Because I've, I've heard so many reviewers say, you know, they like it, but they wouldn't wear it on their wedding day. Um, and they were like, is that a thing? I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's a big thing now to have your wedding day fragrance. And uh, one of my friends said, of course I would wear it. And then my other was just like, I don't know. I said, well, think about it. <laughs> And she said, yeah, it would be in the running, I guess. Now, for me, it's beautiful. But I always, I don't know if this would be my wedding scent. I don't know. I would, I don't know. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Um, if you like... And it, I don't have anything that this smells exactly like, okay? But here, here is some ways to help you get a, a feel. But this pear blossom in here, if you like the mixed bar pear blossom perfume, think of that juicy freshness in there. That's kind of what you get in here. And then think of Mont Blanc um, signature and how that's like a milk bath, clean smelling scent. Take away the milkiness, but keep keep the clean, like soapy prettiness of it. And you just smell luxe, high-end, clean smelling in a very feminine way. It's very and it's very unique to me to anything that I've smelled from Bath and Body Works. I was thinking maybe what is that one? This ivory, y'all. Is it ivory cashmere? I, but I was trying to think of one that it smelled in, in that right in that kind of scent DNA a little bit. But I can't think of anything this just smells exactly like. The packaging is kind this packaging is kind of what I was thinking. Um, you know, somewhat with maybe some jewels for Diamond of the Season. That this is my vision I had with more, you know, like I showed you before, but this is beautiful packaging. It smells divine. Okay, so y'all haven't heard me say this in a long time. You know I don't I don't purchase Bath and Body Works perfumes often. I mean, not not at all. Not not full size. Yeah, I may have the perfume sprays when I purchase them for $4.95 to review for you all. Eight, well, however much you can get them for seven dollars, whatever eight dollars, you know, when you can get them on sale when they first release. I want everything in this line. I want the perfume, I want the the body cream, I want the shower gel because it's beautiful. It is so pretty to me. And if you're scared of gardenia, because like I said, me and gardenia, we're we're not we're not cool. I would still say try this out. I would say go smell this. It is so pretty. It is just so pretty. So dressed in white has has been my favorite. Um that I've smelled thus far of the fragrance mist. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so my next order was from the $2.95 travel sale. So I picked up my other two I wanted of the Daffodil Daydreams. I've already talked about this scent. 
if I can remember which spring rounds it was in reviewing, I will link it above, check it out. But yeah, I already talked about this and I said I wanted to get four so I could have at least eight ounces, give me a full bottle's worth because I can't find the full size set in my area. So I have my four mists now and you all on a whim. I decided to pick up Brightest Bloom because I know sometimes the fragrance, the perfume can smell differently from the uh, fragrance mist. So here's my little update on this for, for from the fragrance mist because I was like, I'm not getting anything else. And as you see from the $4.95 sale, I did not want a full bottle. It does. It smells really good. It's a sweet, pretty floral fragrance. It makes me think of Marc Jacobs perfumes. It still makes me think of Hello Beautiful. That's why I didn't get a full size of it because I didn't use up Hello Beautiful. It still makes me think that. So this to me was relatively spot on to the perfume in my opinion. So I'm, I'm just going to have the travel spray as of right now in Brightest Bloom, but it is very pretty. Okay, so the last two we're going to talk about, I had two rewards to use. You all are going to be in shock. I picked up Japanese Cherry Blossom. And let me tell you the notes and then I'll tell you why. So the notes are Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. And you know what? I have a fragrance of a perfume spray back here. I want to see if these notes are exactly the same. Okay, they're exactly the same, you all. But I was watching someone's video and they said it smells more modern. It smells a little sweeter. It smells different. And when I sprayed it in the store, which, you know, sometimes you can't tell in the store, I was like, this does smell a little different. Maybe I could wear this one now because I wore the original Japanese cherry blossom out so much i don't i don't want to wear it anymore so i said well, let me see if it... it is a little different to me not like a whole lot it is a little bit sweeter it's a little bit sweeter it still smells kind of exotic to me i always felt like japanese cherry blossom smelled like sweet floral exoticness and it still smells like that, but just a little sweeter. Just a little sweeter. So I'm going to try it out. I, did, I still don't want to pay for it. <laughs> so I got it for free. And I'm happy I did. And y'all, guess what? I got First Sight. This is the groom, okay? So dressed in white is the bride. You know they, they did this. Kayali. Uh, they're the only ones I know that came out with a bride scent and a groom scent. And then Bath and Body Works did it. So this is the groom, and I love this. This has notes of Italian bergamot, rich woods, and sugar musk. Y'all, my friend at work also, she was like, oh my goodness, this smells so good. And I was like, I know, right? She said, I would wear this. This, to me, smells perfectly unisex. Now, if you know that Kaoli scent, ooh, oh my goodness. This smells like it's a musky, sweet scent, but fresh. Perfectly unisex. Perfectly unisex. And it reminds me of something. I can't tell you what it reminds me of, but it's something in here that it reminds me of a perfume I have in my collection. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So I bought this because, well, no, I didn't buy it. I used a reward for this. And I almost was like, do I want to get the cologne? Well, the cologne because uh, it smells so good too. Because I sprayed the perfume and dressed in white and I sprayed the cologne at first sight. I was like, oh my goodness. I believe you can layer these two and they would smell beautiful together too. <sighs> I haven't decided yet if I want to get the cologne with this one though. I know I want to get dressed in white, the perfume. But this is good. This is good. So the wedding collection to me is perfection. Perfection, okay? Now on to the rant. So 
it's been a minute since I've ranted you all. And the reason why I didn't have this uh, in a collective haul is because when Bath and Body Works do their searches and, and see people's opinion, I want them to see this because I know they, they know, they watch, they listen because they, they made changes here and there based off of what the public is saying on TikTok and YouTube and these, you know, all these, these forums they have, social media. So... I am tired of some stores putting out items and people getting it for the sale price and other stores being by the book and not putting releasing anything. And, you know, at first I was like, whatever. But this time when they came out with 10 fragrance mists, count it, 10, that collection, which I still can't find anywhere in my area and I'm not paying uh, shipping for that collection. And that's why I haven't reviewed it. Because I've had people say, oh, are you going to review it? Review? I don't have it. I don't have it. Because I don't know how they're releasing things. But I'm going to get to that. Let, let's, let's stick with the price. So that collection was supposed to be released on a certain date. And then you had quite a few stores putting it out. And they were able to get it at $4.95. No hate to them at all save your money because getting it at 495 takes you to about 50 bucks paying full price for it and let even with the buy three get three you'll you'll get less what you're talking about without the buy three get three it's almost 200 dollars. and then with it let's just cut that in half so i'm like and some people got all this all this with the 40 percent off sale they had the perfume and then but my area will not put out anything. They will not sell it to you because I've watched other people's videos. Well, they didn't put it out, but they'll sell it to me. Okay, this is my issue with that. I I don't, if you're, you're a company, okay? You're not a privately owned business where you can do what you want to do. You are a uh, nation, well, yeah, nationwide company, you know, well-known business of Bath and Body Works. You, you can have your policies match. You, you can't enforce that because I'm going through kind of that where I'm working now. You have this person, this 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 place over here doing it this way. Then this one's doing it that way. Then this one over here is doing it another way. And they, we had to have a meeting. And they said, we're going to fix that because that this is causing issues. And Bath and Body Works needs to fix it. I am tired of that. That some people can get things because oh, I have the hookup or just my stores put them out and I can get it for $4.95. When I saw that collection was coming out and because usually I'm like, well, it is what it is. But no, it's not because you're not a private owned business. You're a company. It should be. I understand that some stores are test stores and not everything get not all stores get everything. Some stores are special. But if you have a collection and you have a release date, uh-uh. No, that should be fair. Because also, again, if we're going to take it to, you know, business, the business of social media is being first. So if these people, their store is allowing them to get it, they have an advantage on that end too. That's not really my issue because I'm never first. But that $4.95, I was, if you can't tell, I was miffed about that. And still am because I'm still waiting on my stores to put it out. And then another thing. I watch Cynthia, so I know they have these team meetings about what to expect in the store. The collections is coming out. And it's not the holiday season where they got a whole bunch of new people up in there and, um, you know, they, they don't know anything. So I'm tired of asking these people, these, these employees at Bath and Body Works, you know, when is this coming? Unless they're told, they're told not to tell anything. And they're like, what are you talking about? We don't know. We don't know. And I'm like... <laughs> Why don't you know? Because I'm watching Cynthia and her channel and I know that you all have meetings. I know you have meetings and your business. So I'm just I'm just very annoyed with Bath and Body Works right now. I know during masking season, the height of masking season, you have distribution problems. That I, I don't understand that now. I don't understand that now. Where's the collection for everyone? For the, the luxury collection, the dupe collection, whatever it's called. Where is it for everyone? And then I hear, well, some stores are not supposed to get it and some stores are. Why are you doing that? If it's, if it's not a test item, you're a, you're a company. So why is it going everywhere? I just, I do not like 
the way this has been released. I do not like that I saw so many people get, get, get to take, which I'm happy for them. I'm not saying that, cause so don't come for me y'all. But so many people got it for $4.95 and then the rest have to $18.95, which I did to uh, pay full price for these because I had a 25% off coupon and I needed to review because it's getting old. You know, people have been talking about these for a minute because some people have the hookup and they can get it early. And then you have the ones who were able to get a great sale. So they got it early because they were waiting for a sale. And then you have the other population that's still waiting. Like, where is it? And then you ask your employees and we don't know. We don't know nothing. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. If you're not a properly owned business, when you do a release, it should be the same policies for each store. Like you say, oh, I go to this store and they'll like, okay, the rewards. Um, some stores will let you go in and just pay the deficit. So if I had a reward for $16.95, uh, is that the reward price? Yeah, then I would have to pay $2 plus tax for this. I'm cool with that. Girl, they're like, what you talking about? In these store, in my stores, make your policies be the same across the board because that that breeds frustration. I, as you can see, I'm frustrated. I don't know, I'm not alone, but that <laughs> put your stuff out when it's supposed to be put out. If you if if they say you can put your put these items out for the sale then put it in your policies lean towards putting it out for the sale instead of holding it for the release date if you allow that i don't know your policies but i do know there's a discrepancy among stores i mean it's a discrepancy just within my area going to this store and then two miles going the other way at another store fix it fix it bath and body works it's annoying it's annoying it's costing me more money and you know, I'm a not, don't mess with my money. You have all these people got this stuff for $4.95 and it's all out early. And then I go to my place, they're like, we don't even know what you're talking about. So I'm just, just fix it, fix it. Now I can say I can go to the same doggone Ultas, it's the same policy. The same Sephora's, it's the same policy. I've never heard different things from those companies. Even Victoria's Secret. <laughs> it's the same thing everywhere I go. But Bath and Body Works, y'all be tripping. Y'all be tripping, in my opinion. Because it is not the same policy from store to store to store to store to store. It's like this store is going to follow the rules and this store is going to do what they want to do, I guess. And then this store is going to let you uh, use the reward and get the. It's just fix it. Fix your policies, okay? You got mad at everybody who was who were abusing your policies, which I agree when they were taking used up candles and used up stuff and exchanging it for new stuff. That was utterly ridiculous in my opinion, okay? Um, so now you have, you got strict on that and strict on returns and don't even get me started about both as if you're trying to return some or, or exchange it. But then now... You know, this is happening a lot, but I don't know, it hit differently. Maybe because I got a lot going on and that just annoyed me to no end that I'm still waiting on this collection and so many got it for $4.95 and it would have just been perfection, okay, to get it at that price. So, yeah, that's what I have to say. Fix, make your policies the same across the board. Because it should, I don't know why there's an issue. You even go to Walmart, Target. They don't have different policies. You go to one Walmart. I, well, let me say this. Because I know somebody, well, this Walmart, let me do that. And then in my, all I can do is talk about my experience and the friends and my family that we talk. Nobody has had, uh, uh, in our family or in my life, in my real life, different a Walmart will tell you this, that, and the other. I've never experienced that. The only place I keep experiencing a discrepancy in policies and release dates and who can get this and who who has it is Bath and Body Works. And I am tired of it. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I am. 
So that is the way I feel. And I wanted to make sure that this video was not in a collective haul because I wanted it to be titled Bath and Body Works so Bath and Body Works can see. Because that is still annoying to me. That whenever it's released to you know keep up with what i do on youtube and i like i already have people asking me you know when are you going to review what are your thoughts and i want to do that for you but you know it's costing me two times three times more than, than it costs the people who got it on sale because of the stores can't just do all the same things that that's my that's my issue so i'm i'm asking bath and body works fix it fix it because it's not fair. And you can say, life's not fair. I know life's not fair. Trust me, I know, because I'm an adult. And as an adult, uh, a sane adult, you know that life isn't fair. I mean, I tell my students that life is not fair. Learn it young. But this is a business. And businesses have procedures and protocol and policy that you follow. And when you have some not following it, this is what you get. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like I've ranted and raved enough. Um, so, yeah, that's why I saved it to the end. So, if you didn't want to hear it, you didn't have to hear it. But I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to Bath and Body Works. I want Bath and Body Works to hear it so they can fix it. So, they can hopefully take it into consideration and fix the issue because in my opinion it is an issue when you have uh this group that can get it early this group that can pay 4.95 and then this group that has to wait for the release date 18.95 4.95 you tell me is there a big discrepancy to you so, if y'all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on the uh, Spring Round 3, the Bridgerton Collection, um, your thoughts on if you were able to smell the new Luxury line. I still have not seen it. Um, let me know your thoughts, you all. Please share this video with everyone, you all, because we are trying to keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification notification bells so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye